Hey guys, Lex here, back for some more Nino Kuni. Last time we were doing more side quests. I wanted to go here first. I mentioned I wanted to do some recipes last time, and here is the lady that actually gives it, so I could do multiple at a time instead of doing each one at a time at her. Uh, oh, there she is. Fresh fruits, vibrant vegetables, the very finest in the Summerlands. Gee, they sure do look delicious. Indeed they are. Only a bursting poor town is blessed with fresh produce every day, I think. Oh, I mean no disrespect, but are you feeling quite well? You look pale and a little gaunt. We're taking regular meals, I hope. Perhaps I should give you some fresh fruits to help put a spring back in your step. Yours, motherly. It's nice when someone spares a thought that for your well-being and it... Ah, I know what it is you require. Some recipes. Simple recipes to provide you with a hearty meal after a punishing day on the road. Yay. Go try them out. So, these are the recipes. Sandwich, fish burger, no. Strong coffee, cappuccino, so milk chocolate. A bottle of creamy milk is in Alma Moon, so I'll stop by there next. Need that for attack. Defense, I don't really care about defense. Carrot cake, yeah, I'll, I'll just make a whole bunch right now. Yeah. Uh, what else? Sour Sunday. Defense? I don't care. Beauty pie accuracy. Uh, salted ice cream. Let's do two. Evasion. Eh. We need to make some sweetie pies. Sour Sunday? I mean, I could make them, so I might as well use them. And I don't need it for the other two, right? Or is it sweetie pie? Yeah, I need sweetie pies and fairy chocolate or whatever it's called. No. Milk chocolate? Yeah, milk chocolate. Creamy milk. So, yeah, I'll go to the moon, get some more ingredients, and deal with that. First, let's go do this quest. Oh wait, let me grab this thing. This heart while I'm here. Oh my! Is everything all alright, sir? Oh, you have come to listen to my woes, perhaps? Uh, sure, I guess. I'd be happy to listen. Well, believe it or not, the broken man you see before you is engaged to marry. My betrothed possesses beauty and kindness beyond imagining. Her mind is the most sharp. Her clothing, it is immaculate. Ah, uh, she sounds too good to be true, man. What's he so blank and miserable about, then? Oh, please forgive me, I should not be boasting about my future wife. I have much graver concerns after all. You see, my beloved has been treating me with a certain indifference of late. Oh, the anguish, nothing could pain me more. My love for her is all-consuming. The very thought that it is not fully reciprocated. Ah, uh, uh, I don't think you need to tell me that this fellow's got a bit of love surplus, only boy. Yeah, I guess he must have. Yes, sir, we might have brought a little bit of your love. You might be able to use it to help your fiance remember how she felt before. Really? Oh, that would be... Please, take whatever you need. I can stay at some for a while. No, no, you already got some on your locket, ain't it? Get hug it all to yourself. Go and share the love with someone in need first. There's a good lad. Oh. Well, while well, I'm here. Uh... Oh, I have some little bread. Will really used it for some battle. <laughs> I bought so many of the weapons. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, cake. And a Sunday. Wait, they don't have- oh wait, carrots are here. Yogurt. Let me make a bunch real quick. And again, carrot cake. And 
it's our Sunday. Might as well max these out while I'm here. And I'll make the pie and... Uh, the, whatever the other one's called. The pie and the uh, chocolate bar later. Oh man, this is way easier. I was about to uh, manually do this last time. <laughs> Alright, where the hell is it? There's 63. Magic attack. Let's give you magic attack. Oh no. <laughs> Please only give one heart or smile. I'll be fast forwarding this. Plus one. Oh my god, that didn't. Too much. <laughs> this is gonna be even worse than I thought. Oh, might as well do this for you too. Unless he really likes them. Nope. Oh. Hey. I wanna make Mikey more. This magic defense? Yeah, I'm gonna give him more magic defense. Just a little bit, just for this round, I'll give Mikey a bunch of magic defense. Just so he could tank more. Anyone else? Yeah, I'll give, uh, Spooky also some magic defense. No! <laughs> Some magic defense. Since he's uh, gonna be is a shield and he tanks, so Yeah. Wait, does his heart's not even growing? Does he not like this? <laughs> oh. Oh it did grow. Okay. It's just he doesn't like it enough. Alright, let's talk to this person over here. Grab this. Grab this too. Oh dear, oh what am I to do? What's the matter miss? You seem kind of worried. Oh yes, it is my beloved. I no longer feel anything towards him. Gee, that sounds kind of sad. Did he do something wrong? Oh, he has been a perfect gentleman. I simply do not care for him anymore. Well, these things happen, Mon. He probably wasn't right for you and it. Best move on, I say. Plenty more fish in the sea. But though I love him no longer, I still not bear to be apart from him. What am I to do? Ah, oh, this is really weird. Do you know what's going on, Trippy? You know what, Ollie boy? I reckon she's broken hearted. Properly like. Someone's pinched her love in it. Unrequited love. A young woman from Castaway Cove no longer feels any love for her husband to be. Restore her love and save her relation. Sure. Man, I wish I could give his love to her, but too bad. <laughs> it takes one of those love. Come on, Mr. Trippy, let's go find some love! So this couple can live happily ever after! Tidy, let's get cracking. And this is your, uh, Got a hunk of love burning a hole in your locket, only boy, then cast give heart. Oh, by the way, I got a new controller, and it actually does help this a little bit, even though the bug's still there, I think. So, uh, 
give heart. Oh my! I do not know why, but I cannot wait to see my beloved. I must tell him how much I love him. Oh great! Uh, like him again then? Of course I do, I love him. I love him as much as I did the first day we met. Thank you, young man. You have saved me. I fear I would never know true happiness. Please take this, though I can express only the tiniest fraction of my appreciation. Three fruit flans, 1500 guilders. I'm not quite in love. A young woman from Castaway Cove no longer feels any love for her. It's to be completed. Yeah. Let's go put. Let's see what other quests I have left. I know there's some Alma Moon stuff. Alma Moon. Hamlin. What? I didn't go to Hamlin? And. Dong Dill. Mongoler listens. Hold up. Merchants again? <laughs> Alright. Let's go out the moon real quick. Oh wait, let's grab his heart. Forgot almost. Wait, where is it? Uh, make more. And where's the other one? Sour Sunday. It's a lot easier when I to see when it Hi. No. <laughs> what happened to my brother? She became so cold. Uh huh. But she's not cold anymore. Take heart. And new controller feels nice. And and it's not double clicking anymore. I don't know if there was an update or not, but <laughs> it's way better. Oh, what a curious warm sensation. Does this mean she returned to her old self? Does she love me once more, perhaps? Oh well, she will do, I guess, but... Oh, thank the ancients, I must go and see her immediately. Yeah, good job. Uh, let's go to Alma Moon. Okay. Oh, the quest is right here. That's nice. Ah, what have I done with my life? Perhaps my farming days are at an end. What husband, what has become of you? You used to love your babanas, so... Excuse me, but, um, can I ask what seems to be the problem? It's my husband. Suddenly he tells me that he wishes to retire from his beloved babana. He's old! He does, but why? He says the fruit that has been his life for so many years no longer interests him. I have given my life to the banana, babana, but no longer. Those accursed fruits will dictate the pattern of my days long. Awesome. But banana growing is all you know, in it? And what will everyone do without you simply supply them with a lovely tasty fresh fruit? That is not a problem. I will simply entrust my farm to the care of another, one younger who feels the passion I have lost. Seems kind of weird that he would just stop loving the bananas all of a sudden, huh, Miss Ray? I think he might be... Ah, uh, yes. Um, he might be a holly boy. If you ask me... Our friend over here is like a bit of old love. What? You should help him out in it. Big Babana love. My old Mooney farmer has suddenly lost his love for Babanas, the crop which he has to put his life. That's weird. <laughs> I wasn't expecting love. Tidy, where's the love? You better find out. Here's your love. Got some love there in it. Can't skip heart and hand it over. Uh, here you go. What is this feeling? I feel better. By the ancients, I must return to the farm immediately. My beloved Babanas will slither and die without my care and attention. You know, we helped him, and now he loves Babanas more than ever. Seems I do was with this your doing, boy. Then you deserve thanks. Here, forgive me. It is a mere trifle. Slices of golden pie. I think there's babanas in there. Big babana love. A Mamuni farmer has only lost his love for babanas, the crop to which he has devoted his life. 
How many? Let me double check. Uh, bounty hunt. So I have. Where am I? I'm blind. Oh, two. <laughs> two. I think I need. I need five. Oh. That's five is high priority right now. I'd rather get more items. Right. I have everything. Oh, what do I have? Oh, use a lot of feathers. Less battle. means I have to go to Alma Moon or uh, Ding Dong Dell. That sucks. I could do the pies here. out later but in the few for currently <laughs> for now I'll keep it in sweetie pie where's the milk chocolate uh, what does it have to be somewhere complicated Switch out Gunther. Percy, I might actually use. Or I'll probably use Percy still. Mm, yeah. Where's the. What was it? Oh, pie. Sweetie pie. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, accuracy. Does he not like it? Oh, he's already really accurate. What the heck? Uh. The hell? He's really accurate. Really just. He has like no magic defense though. What? I'm gonna give him magic defense then. He's like really good at everything. Not this. 
Oh, he really likes that. Yes, yeah. Give him accuracy again. I might give him magic defense since he's really bad at that. Alright. I wasted enough time, but. Uh, yeah, oh wait, let me <laughs> waste some more time. Let's make more. Carrot, why not? Sour Sunday, nah. Sweetie Pies. Milk chocolate. Oh, it's just one of each, so the bumbler honey I made was good enough. Okay. Alright, uh since I already did that quest, let's go to Travel. Oops. Travel to Ding Dong Dill. There's a quest here and I need that honey. It's right here. Front. Oh, it's those two. Not again. I'm sorry, I don't know what's happened, but I don't think we could be together anymore. Darling, you can't be serious. Our dreams are about to come true. Why would you throw it all away? If something happened. But to you, for some reason, my husband has started acting as if he wants to get rid of me. I'm sorry, I really am. I don't hate you. It's not that. It's just... This can't be together anymore. It's not you. It's me. <laughs> Jeepers. But they make such a swell couple. Why would he... Use your eyes, Ollie boy. It's obvious in it. Oh, of course, he's broken hearted again, huh? That he is. He's had the love stolen from his heart. Ain't he proper tragic, is it? You'll help, won't you? A cold hearted hubby. Since returning to Ding Dong Tell, one of the traveling merchants no longer has love for his wife. Store his love and save his marriage. Oh shit, I skipped it. Oh well. <laughs> uh, is there anyone with a heart here? Let me go up here. See if. Oh, please. Please have love. Oh, well, me, I can't possibly decide such a cruel, cruel choice. Oh, me, oh, my. Cracky, you sound like you're in a right old pickle. What's the matter, Mon? Downs, you heard my pitiful cries of agony? Oh, uh, yes, we did. What's wrong, mister? You said you had a difficult choice to make. Forsooth, it seems that this kingdom of prudes and priggish stiff necks a man may marry but a single solitary maiden. <laughs> Yet I love all damsels of the land, nay, all the ladies of this fair world. You choose only one flower from such a beautiful garden. Why, it is impossible, impossible, I say. Oh. Uh. Hey. hey, look, the locket is growing. Do you think maybe this gentleman has too much love in his heart? Ah, uh, not enough for strength, more like. But look, it's glowing. That must mean... Something to trouble thee, friend. Uh, no, I was just wondering, would you like to help us with someone? If you could let us have a little bit of love in your heart, you could give it to someone who doesn't have enough. Mm, this person wants for love. Is she a fair maiden? I guess she could be, sure. Then let it be so. I'll be gladly sacrifice a morsel of my most precious love for the sake of a damsel in distress. Uh, thanks. It's going to a guy, though. Going. In the next world, go around. Need some love. Farewell, I eagerly wait the day my fabled love proves the salvation of all the beauties of this fair and virtuous world. Yeah. You hear some love from some random dude. Olive, I'll give her a cast heart and blah 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 blah. <laughs> give heart. you. I must have had another funny turn. I had it all on a muddle, and my memories are completely mixed up. Don't you want to dump your wife anymore, ain't it, though? Dump her? Leave her, you mean? My dear stunning wife, never. I love her more than life itself. Ah, come on, man, for shame. Only just had my lunch. Suppose that means she's, uh, it means she's better, though, eh? Thank you, thank you so much. Here, this is for you. Nostrum. 
full target hobby. Since we're technically not dead, one of the traveling missions no longer feels any low for his poor wife. Okay. I think I need one more. But let's go to... Hamlin is the last one, I think. I don't think there's anyone in, uh... Fairy grounds, because I was trying to catch them a little earlier. Oh, I can't wait to watch the next royal procession with my darling hubby beside me. Somehow it never gets boring. You seem pretty excited, ma'am. Do you and your husband watch all the processions together? Everyone, yes. It's always been a spectacular thing that we do together. Every single one, huh? You sure must like each other an awful lot. Oh, well, I suppose we do. Thank you, young man. Yes. Poor darling works all hours and only gets a day off once in a blue moon, but he always finds a way to join me when there's a royal procession. I have no idea how happy I am to always make the effort. I just can't put it to words. Your husband must sure care for you very much. Oh, he does, and I love him from the bottom of my heart. There's sound how romantic. She's practically got love little hearts floating around in her head. She's full of love. Ha <laughs> ha, it looks like that way. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, I wonder if you could maybe help us out? Help oh, you? Why do you need help with, young man? There are people in the world who don't have any love in their hearts. I was hoping you might be willing to share a little of the love in yours. Why, well, I'd be delighted. But do you really think I can help? Sure you can. Now please, hold still for a second. Wink. And did I get all the love things now? Thing that makes the world go around. Love. Oh, that tickles. Have you got what you need? Yes. You know what? Did I have all the things? Courage, confidence. Oh, there's one more thing here. Okay. I'm almost done, I think. Talk to this guy up here. Where is he? Oh. Yeah, that was a different guy last time. The dog? What the? Ruff, 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 ruff. It's enough. Stop then for a rock. Why don't you do as you're told? Are you okay, ma'am? Oh dear me, please excuse my dog's behavior. I didn't mean to alarm you. Rocky, there's a fierce mutt. I'll have your hand off if you're not careful. <laughs> Whoa, down boy. What have us gotten into him? He used to be so quiet and obedient. Hmm, their eyes don't look right to me. What's the matter, Mr. Sir? I'm mistaken. It's not the poor dog's heart that's broken. It lost its love for its owner, I reckon. Jeepers, you mean pets could be broken hearted too? Of course I can. If you got a heart, then it could be broken, in it? Woman's best friend. A Hamlin woman is deeply concerned about her pet dog, who appears to be broken-hearted. Or the dog's love and rekindles loyalty. I'm forgetting that, I gave him southern accents. Right then, we best find a nice juicy lump of love for Fido here before he eats someone. Get talk to him? Fido, get your heart out. Give heart. Finally stopped his infernal barking. Good boy. Do you know how I think he might be back to his old self? He ushers up to our relief. My, my, you seem to have quite a way with animals. Thank you. There's something for you. I hope it's to your liking. Five cheeseburgers. Wow. Woman's <laughs> best friend, Helen, is deeply concerned about her pet dog who appears to be broken hearted. Easy. Oh, I think I had a lot of trouble last time. And then we go travel to Perdita. I think that's the last thing I gotta do. There's some quests here. Yeah, I have to give him that compress, I think. Ah, oh, you have returned. Well, well, you truly traveled to Yulin back. Without your help, I would have had to suffer until a peddler next arrived. The top to Yul sends his regards, sir. Does he now? That is good to hear. But I must not forget, I have a reward for you. Please take it. Tonic. Eating a bad back. An old man in is suffering from a terrible backache. Is it? Am I done? 
this five? I hope it's five. Unless I only had two. The solutions. Claim merit warrant. Oh, only four? Let's see. Wait, I can just go here for the quests. I beat these two. Oh, wait. Not gonna be level 40 for a while. And to get to catch these... I mean, wait. Two, four. One, two, three, four. And... This, moving on. Wait, no, I can't do that. It's gonna take a long time. It's only level 35, okay. Let's do that. Uh, where's the bounty at? Sleigh Bell Hill. Northern Winter Isles. On the Sleigh Bell Isles. Go to Yule. We need to go to Yule anyway. Travel to Yule. Welcome to you. Uh, it's the leaf guy there. Yes, he is. Oh, there too. Get it over here. <laughs> oh, two of them. Try Swain Shiksha. Oh my god. I'm not getting doubles. <laughs> what the heck? I either fix it or it's the controller plus my fingers. So many off camera trying while well, I was trying to fix my controller. <laughs> I didn't get them once. I only killed like 20 of them <laughs> off camera <laughs> in the first one recording I got, so that's good. That other one, maybe he's up there. Seek fortune. That has to be it. Fight it, might as well fight it. <laughs> SE plus C. Here we go. Swing! Now you're for it. Okay, level 12. 
Nice. Oh, let me heal. There's that chest. To the wall. Probably here. Damn it. <laughs> What's not? Sasquatch. What? That's it? Watch this! Well, let me go Oliver and Cloud first. So they don't do this stupid attack. Do it again. Okay, there you go. Burn them all. Does do damage and nix. Okay, I'll just keep it in that then. Switch the weapons back. In the fire or whatever. Oh, there you go. Guess I leveled up. Nice work. Oh, I didn't level up. The hell? I'll go to you. Go to you. Get the beads. And talk to Darwin. Welcome to you. I need Sasquatch. Where's the name I can't see today? Okay, Queen. <laughs> Erwin, we got your shit. Excellent. Oh, yes, just look at that. My, my, well now. That was unexpected. Hmm, I have, of course, observed this phenomenon before. I think you'll find this very intriguing indeed. This could well cement my uh, standing at the top of the formidable, familiar logical fraternity once and for all. I'm getting rather excited, you know. Don't get too carried away, Derwin. It's cold out here. You might get sick if you stay outside too long. It's right, you know. You won't have been much good to the familiar logical fraternity frozen into a block of ice, will ya? Ah, I think you'll find it will take a little more than sub-zero temperatures to deter a dedicated researcher such as myself. What's the flipping point, man? He never listens to a word we flip and say. Oh, here. Yay! 
snow loving creatures. Turlin has moved to Yule in search of more creature data. Easy. Alright. Let's drop these guys off. And uh, what did I have again? Uh, I already forgot. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, these three. Let's go to the... this guy. Oh, you. Welcome. Flame Bounty. Slay Bale Hail. Terrify enemies even more, causing them to drop rare and valuable items. So what's next? Uh, that sounds nice. Further increase amount of experience, that sounds nicer. Nail recovery through walking, that sounds okay. And I have no idea what this does still, I haven't looked it up. I might get it last. Surprise me. Uh, people with more troubles. Go here. What? what? Oh, Derwin's in Perdita now? Oh my god. Alright, let's go to... Perdita. There's, per there's Derwin. Oh, it's you. It seems our paths have crossed once again, of course. I predicted you would be here before long. Gee, it's Derwin. Oh, it's you again. How come you're always waiting for us wherever we go? Guess I want you to assist me with my critically important research, of course. Oh, I guess that means you want us to find more creatures for you, huh? Applaud your perspicacity. Now you will assist science and cooperate with me. Derwin has moved to Perdido in search of more creature data. Agree to help Derwin with his research. Applaud your perspicacity. Perspicacity. Or Cassidy, <laughs> forgot. Science thanks you. Ah, <sighs> what kind of creatures is he going to send us running af after this time then? Lately, I've been conducting highly stimulating research into a process of metamorphosis, but there are some creatures whose advanced forms I've yet to observe. There are three specimens I would like very much to bring me. First interest is a Wispula, a metamorphic successor of a ghostly creature known to haunt Tombstone Trail. Like its first hand is a flash fry, a species produced through metaphors of creature notable of carrying red hot stones. Finally, I wish to examine a curiously musical creature, and also known as a trumpy. Uh, I'm sure you know the species in question. No, I shall not respect myself. Trumpy. Gee, that doesn't sound like it's going to be easy. Little is known about these creatures, even amongst the phenomenological fraternity as such, you're on your own. Still, with a combination of dedication and animal cunning, it's statistically likely that you will find them eventually. Oh, and it goes without saying that I will not su suffice simply to stash these familiars in the familiar retreat. But you must bring all three of these creatures to me together. Right. Wispila. Let me write this down. Wispila. Flesh fry. And a trumpy. Right. Go here. Why do I have to go inside? <laughs> Annoying. Hey, <laughs> evolve you. What's his name again? Deep fry. And I already forgot. Trumpy. What the hell's a trumpy? Flash fry. Trumpy. Trumpy pumper. I need uh, one of those duck dudes, okay. 
and I think Wispy. No more to a Wispy law. There you go. Do I have any of this trumpet looking dude? Uh, I've already forgotten what they look like. <laughs> Kana. Darn it. I think I've seen these, but I don't remember where. Near Castaway Cove. I yes, my marches. Unknown. <laughs> okay. That's my marches. I think that's where I'm going too soon. So. Or it's nearer here. I don't know if I'm going there soon or not. Alright. Let's talk to this lady. I'm probably going to cut off a bunch of stuff, even though I'm at an hour already. Let's do this quest. <laughs> May we begin the ceremony, Oliver? You ready to begin the ceremony to make Sar whole again? Yes. Uh, sure. Ready when you are, your highness. Oliver, do you know the spell of rejuvenate? Yeah, sure I do. It turns back the clock for objects to before they were old or broken. It's a memory retained within objects that is being revived. Let the spell breach time allows time itself to be manipulated. I believe rejuvenate should be able to restore the magic stones to the state that they were 15 years ago. Oh, I get it. That way they'll be the same as smart star from 15 years ago, too. He told me to combine the spell rejuvenate with a ritual required to reunite the stones with Mornstar. Flipping heck, wouldn't that be a bit of a stretch even for you, your hall of heavenliness? It will not be easy, and I understand why Marcus and Bok did the challenge, but I believe that I could do this for you. Thank you, your highness. Now, without further ado, let the ritual commence. Let's go. <laughs> Watch, this is all I had to do, and then a completely different thing happened. Wow. But why was the staff small 15 years ago? <laughs> Oops, seen more star. The ritual is complete. What you now hold is Mort Star in its true form. Please consult your wizard companion. The wand's powers restored new pages with new spells for you to use. Healing hand. An N. Fortune's fool. A four. Unleash Omega. Deepest spells look so neat. Spells are unleashed will prove very useful to you, I'm certain. Unless you're done battle with those creatures known as guardians, whose poor hearts have been broken by Shadar. You defeated them. You received certain gemstones, did you not? That's right, they dropped from big jewels, ain't it, Dolly Boy? These gems are symbols of the guardians' gratitude and contain a part of their spirit of life force. Keepers! By using Unleash, you can channel the energy switch reside in the gems and call upon guardian strength in battle. Their power at your command, you will be able to hold your own even against Shadar. Thank you, your highness. That sounds like it'll come in real handy. <laughs> that doesn't sound too shabby, does it, Oliver? Shadar will be quaking in his boots. You are now better equipped to face Shadar in battle, but a serious obstacle stands between you and any such encounter. Oh, here we flip and go. What is it this time? Dar dwells within the castle of Nevermore. This lies north of here, beyond the miasma marshes. Should a careless traveler be engulfed by the dark miasma for which the marshes are known, they will be lost forever. Wait a second. The miasma marshes? Oh? What is it, Esther? Have you heard of them? It's something my father once spoke of. He told me of a mist that was so dark that no light could penetrate it. But that the only way to clear it is with the call of a clarion. A clarion? I don't remember you saying that. We'd be the ones to play it again, mister. That's the clarion is a symbol of peace that was created by the three knight kings of this world. Now, what was the rhyme? King Dung Del, they carful well that old Mamuni would. 
and bear it then to Hamelin to make it sound so good. <laughs> I am impressed of your knowledge, Esther. By then, you are the daughter of the great sage. The ride may learn was little. So, if we give the Clarion a good honk, it'll clear us a path across the miasma marches, will it? That's correct. The first thing you require to make the Clarion is holy wood. And that old Mamuni wood, I think it's time we paid the Caliph a visit. Alright, let's go. Wonder Wand, awarded for restoring the legendary wand more so to its former glory. But let's do that, uh... Oh yeah, it's to me. Mornstar, the legendary wand. Wait, let me check my spells. I already forgot what I got. <laughs> uh... Uh... I already f- oh, it was N. Here's a four. No. Let's see... Is a four? No, it's a mimic. Omega, unleash. Summon powerful beasts to do your bidding. Though powerful beings such as guardians cannot be kept as familiars, in the same way as other creatures, this does not mean that their strength cannot be harnessed. This spell enables you to unleash the power of these mighty beasts upon your helpless enemies. Not every wizard is capable of summoning such creatures, of course. You must prove yourself worthy before you call upon their aid. Orchard's fool. Trust in the fate and hope for the best. There will be times in your life when nothing seems to work, and the obstacles in front of you seem insurmountable. It is on such occasions, and only on such occasions, that Fortune's fool could be your savior. Of course, there's no way of knowing what effect it'll have. Indeed, it could even be harmful, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Healing hand? Stir someone who teeters upon the brink of death to health, and your companions have been grievously injured and healing touch is not enough, be sure to draw this rune. Healing hand will grant a clean bill of health to those who otherwise be beyond hope. Its powers mean that it is not easily mastered, however, and makes great demands on a caster. Nevertheless, this is a spell that no aspiring wizard should be without. Cool. Definitely did not do that out of order. Uh, that's Derwin. Uh, where am I supposed to go again? <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, Alamo. Go to Alamo. Oh yeah, we gotta talk to Khalifa. Oh, it's nice to see you again, your majesty. I say, you have returned. Now tell me, boy, have you located the handsome young man in the picture we so generously gave you? Found him, your majesty, and now Prince Moccasin's back to his old self. The picture of yours came in proper useful in the end, your majesty, even if you did only half it because you had a crush on the poor lad. <laughs> We are most pleased to hear that you accomplished your aims, but what brings you back to us, pray tell? Um, your majesty, we have heard it of the Clarion. Indeed we have. Are we to take that you require the aforementioned instrument? Is it finally at the hand? That's right, your majesty, your majesty. We need to cross the miasma marshes. A you heard the young man. Fetch the old know what this instant. Yes, your board for bovinity. I present to you the holy wood. You obtain a piece of holy wood. <laughs> Guard that wood with your lives, won't you now? Who could say how long it will take for another branch like that to grow? Gee, thanks, your majesty. This means we can do battle with Shadar. You really do intend to face him. Tell us, are you familiar with the events of the Wizard Wars? Yes, your majesty. I heard something about them. The world was at war, wasn't it? It was most protracted and bloody affair. Not yet. Only three kingdoms remained. El Mamun, Ding Dong Dell, and Hamlin. 
Every ruling family is vowed then to keep the peace. The clarion served to symbolize their sacred pledge. But then the shadow of the Dark Jinn fell across the world. Our three kingdoms were driven into simply a frightful series of disputes. Rest respect. It is most unfortunate that we did not join forces to make a new clarion back then. Join forces, your majesty? That's right, boy. Now, if we recall correctly, you have already visited each of the three kingdoms. You're right, your majesty. We're close personal friends with the big arm Jesus in every kingdom. <laughs> it amuses me to think that a dear boy should be the one to mend the bridges between our kingdoms. Ah, oh, thanks, your majesty. Yes, thanks, your majesty. We'd love to stay in chat, but this clarion won't make itself. Shall we head over to the next kingdom? Yes, it's time to get the ding dong down, seeking Tom. Yeah. This is pretty fast. A lot of stuff going on. So, off to see the Cat King, is it? Ah, this place really takes me back. It was the first time we visited together, wasn't it? Listen, I'm sure you'd be enjoying your trip down memory lane, but haven't we got business to be taken care of? I hate to say it, but Saint's right. We need to complete Larion. That means getting this holy wood. Huh? But how? What? What's the matter? Don't tell me you got and dropped the flipping thing. No, I didn't drop it. I mean, I just had it a second ago. I'm sure I did. So you're saying someone made off of it while you weren't looking. Well, you know a thing or two about that, wouldn't you? There you go, bringing up ancient history again. Look, you're the one who lost it. Don't go blaming me. I did all this time, I swear. Stop fighting, both of you. If it's missing, we have to find it and fast. You're not wrong, early boy. Let's ask some folks around here if we've seen it. Ah, shit, it's gonna be easy. So, literally, I was walking up and I was about to say, I just bought a bunch of stuff. Uh. And made a few, uh. More ingredients or certs. Where did it go? To the weapon shop. Okay. Since I'm about to go there, let's uh, see everyone. Let's give everyone milk chocolate. Yeah, he really likes it. Who also really likes milk chocolate. Do you really like milk chocolate? Eh, he doesn't really like it. How about accuracy? Do you like pies? No. One. No. Oh, carrot cake? Good. I didn't want to give him that anyway. You like creamy flat, All right? No. Uh, defense. Yeah. How about Sunday? No. Really. Evasion? No, oh, he really likes evasion, okay. Dude, what do you like? You like the illness? Uh, Editor Lex, please take note of what everyone likes, please. Defense? Defy? Okay. How about Percy? You like chocolate? Oh, he really likes chocolate. Okay. Getting chocolate. And you like chocolate?
like sweetie pie. Alright. Magic defense or magic No, that's the wrong one. Shit. Oh, he likes magic attack. That's useless. And you. Do you like magic attack? Okay, he does. That's good. Alright, I hope I have notes. I forgot what everyone likes feature- or editor likes will figure out <laughs> who likes what. Uh, let's go here. Oh, hello there, oh dear. You look quite worked up. What's ruffled your feathers? Some dirty rotten thief pinch star. Hold on a minute, look over by there, Ollie boy. Oh, it's right there. It's the holy wood. Where did you find it, sir? Oh, is that what caught your eye? Pretty, isn't it? Thought it would make for a rather nice window display. And windows display? That's holy wood, is it? Don't tell me you're planning on wedging weapons in it. You were, weren't you? Mr. Cardermaster, sir, that holy wood is ours. It was stolen from us. Stolen, but I only just bought it, and for a price that would make your eyes water. Don't tell me I've been rooked. Great so, man. Whoever sold it to you must have pitched it from us in it. Ah, I should have been more cautious. I've been wondering how he would have come by such a valuable item. You know the person who sold it to you, sir? The young mouse, the one with the glasses. He's always coming around here hawking his wares. Glasses? I've never thought he was a thief. No, just because you say he's guilty, that doesn't make it true. You want me to believe you? You're going to have to bring me some proof. I'll buy it. <laughs> How can we do that? Only one thing I'll offer it, odd boy. We're going to have to catch the mouse and get him to confess. Okay, let's do that. We'll go uh, carry your proof, sir. Please do it quickly. I'd hate to think I was handling stolen goods. Uh, can I just buy it from you? Damn it. Okay. Where are we going? Over here. There are forging spots dotted all over the world. You should investigate the flavor of your portuguese Oh, uh, what the hell? Did she actually really mean that? Shit. What? Am I? Oh, it's up the thing. I'm guessing it's up here. <laughs> And this stairs is really annoying. Yep, there it is. What a nerd. Eagly billowed. Oh, you little speak speak. You're the one who tried to make a quick guild of selling that holy wood, aren't you? Squeak, how did you find me? I'll never do it again, honest. Forever, my name's not Pip. Pip, but why? What made you start stealing? The money, didn't I? Not that it's any of your blinking business. How am I going to make my dreams come true if I'm broke, eh? Your dreams? That's no excuse for stealing. What kind of dreams do you have anyway? Nice try, dum dum. You think I'm telling you? I know you'll just laugh at me for being a silly mouse with big ideas. Crikey. Big blooming touchy, aren't we? No need to be so flippin' offensive, mouse face. Well, we did just call on him, to be fair. Anyway, let's call out the little runt and head back to Cow in the Master's store, shall we? Just saying, you guys, is it me or does Pip buy you somebody? Oh, you mean to say he might share a soul with some <laughs> Yeah, that nerd. Yeah, I think so, but I'm just not sure it could be. Oh, uh, Pip, you might tell us a little more about your dream. I won't laugh at you, I promise. Why should I? You can't tell me what to do. Why should I take orders from a big baby who sleeps with a stupid doll? What? Is that true, Oliver? No, I don't still want to sleep with a doll anymore. Ha. Huh. What? How grown up of you. Bet you still drag it around with you everywhere in case you get scared at night, you big baby. I'm not. I tell you. I don't sleep with the doll anymore. I told you, Mr. Drippy's... <laughs> Stop taking Mr. Drippy to bed almost a year. <laughs> oh. Ha ha ha. Now you've done it, dum dum. You've all heard him, didn't you? Bet your girlfriend's really impressed now. 
Stop being mean. She stopped my hand. I don't sleep with a doll. Cut it down, will ya? Just cut it off, Phil. Eh, do you just call him Phil? That naggy m that mangy mouse, his name is Pip. Alright, it's just what he said. It sounded just like Phil when he's being mean. Lie me. Well, you know what that means. I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is you'll never catch me. There are rotten rodents starting to get on my nerves. Not making things easy for us, is he? What are we going to do, Oliver? Well, it took me a while to work it out, but there's no mistake. It can be kind of mean and real stubborn, but he's still my best friend. I'm talking about Phil. Tidy, I think we've got our man. Just goes to show if you've got a big bully for a soulmate, you might just turn out to be a nasty piece of work, too. Mm, I get it. Something must be going on with a soulmate to have made this mouse turn into the life of crime. I feel kind of bad. It's been a while since I saw Phil. I hope he's okay. Let's go see Phil in Motorville. Come on, Olga. There's no time to waste. Alright, guys. That's a good time to end here. And then next time, go back to Motorville. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.